One of the most common questions we probably all ask ourselves when we start charting our fertility signs is what am I looking for in temperatures that will let me know when I'm ovulating? The ovulation event itself is that 12 to 24 hour window when the egg is released and it's viable. Well, nothing will actually change in your temperatures to let you know you've reached that window, that one to two days. Um, temperatures will remain in a general lower range from the beginning of your cycle right through to ovulation. But they don't change when you actually reach that point. There's a common myth out there that you're looking for a dipped temperature, a single temperature that's quite a bit lower than the rest that you've seen so far. You might wake up in the morning and here I've got this low temperature, it's this is the day, this is the day I'm going to ovulate. Well, that's not the case. A single dip temperature can happen any time throughout our cycle. Some women do see a steady decline in temperatures in the lead up to ovulation in the days before, but that's not, even, not the case for all women or even for every cycle. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the point? What's the point of putting temperatures on a chart if they're not gonna let me know when I'm ovulating? Well, temperatures will let you know after you have ovulated. It's after you ovulate that the hormonal change will cause your body temperature to jump. So you're looking for this jump in temperatures and now the temperatures will remain in a higher range throughout the rest of the cycle. So by charting your temperatures every day and looking for that pattern of the change from lower to higher, you can now narrow down when your ovulation likely occurred. You see, your body can gear up to attempt to ovulate, but it doesn't necessarily mean it will. It doesn't mean that that egg will be released. Um, there's hormonal imbalances that can cause the ovulation attempt to fail. You might see fertile cervical mucus. You might see a positive LH test, for example, but that doesn't guarantee that that, that ovulation will occur. So temperatures will help you um, confirm ovulation after it occurs, and then you'll be able to see whether this cycle was an ovulatory cycle, did you successfully ovulate, and then narrow down the window to the approximate time.